ESPNOW is a wireless communication protocol based on the data link layer defined by Espressif. The big difference it makes is that ESPNOW reduces the five layers of the OSI model to only one. In other words, the data need not be transmitted through the network layer, the transport layer, the session layer, the presentation layer and the application layer. Also, there is no need for packet headers or unpackers on each layer, which leads to a quick response reducing the delay caused by packet loss in congested networks. ESPNOW occupies fewer CPU and flash resources than traditional connection protocols, while it coexists with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth LE. ESPNOW supports various series of expressive chips, providing a flexible data transmission that is suitable for connecting one-to-many and many-to-many devices. Moreover, ESPNOW can be used as an independent auxiliary protocol that helps with device provisioning, debugging and firmware upgrades. All in all, ESPNOW, Espressif's wireless communication protocol, is efficient, responsive and easy to develop. Now let's get down to the details of it. ESPNOW is a protocol that allows paired devices to communicate directly with one another through the data link layer. The entire pairing process does not require a Wi-Fi connection or a third-party device such as a mobile phone. All it takes to pair two or more devices is the long press of a button. One responder can be paired by multiple initiators and one initiator can pair with multiple responders. During device pairing, you can use the wirelessly received signal strength indication to determine the distance between the devices and authorize that distance. Only devices within the authorized distance can be paired successfully. Using RSSI as a filter can also ensure that responders in different rooms do not interfere with each other during device pairing. Furthermore, ESPNOW has the following distinct advantages. After power on, the devices can transmit data and control other paired devices directly without any wireless connection and with a response speed of milliseconds. ESP now reduces the five layers of the OSI model to only one layer, which leads to truly easy communication and low power consumption. Control button can work for two whole years with only two AA batteries. When the device is connected to a router or works as a hotspot, it can realize a fast and stable communication through ESP now. Even if the router is faulty or the network is unsteady, the device can keep the connection stable through ESPNOW. ESPNOW supports long distance communication, so it can be used in outdoor application scenarios too. Additionally, it ensures a stable connection even among devices separated by thick walls or located in different floors. Moreover, ESPNOW can support large-scale installations. For example, we placed four lights on the four corners of a large block of buildings. So the four lights enclosed a total area of more than 100,000 square meters. All four lights were within the 500 meter control limit of our button switch. Thus, we were able to use our button switch for turning on and off any of the four lights and also use the data forwarding function of ESPNOW in order to realize a multi-hop network among them. With ESPNOW, you can control hundreds of devices through unicast, broadcast and group control. In addition to the button switch we showed earlier, ESPNOW also operates with a touch switch, an LCD screen voice control and various sensors. Hi, Lucy. 
，害了心，关闭电灯。Next, we will take a closer look at device provisioning, debugging, and firmware upgrade based on ESP Now. ESP Now can be used for device provisioning along with Wi-Fi provisioning and Bluetooth provisioning. The first device needs to be provisioned via Bluetooth. Once this is complete, the other devices do not need to enter information such as SSID and password because the first device will send this information to the others directly. Users then can choose whether to allow their remaining devices to access the network on the application side. With ESP Now, you can obtain data logs for analysis and debugging. This function is especially convenient when users cannot come in direct contact with their devices due to high voltage and high temperature, or if the devices are enclosed in a non-detachable case. ESP Now supports many-to-many -many connections, so the initiator can receive logs from multiple responders and detect any device faults quickly. We can use the debugging function of ESP Now to obtain the logs and the operation status of a connected device, such as its project version, number of nodes, memory usage, Wi-Fi signal strength, etc. This facilitates the fault analysis of the device. We can also send commands to control the device, debug peripheral interfaces such as GPIO, UART and LED, adjust parameters such as the Wi-Fi TX power and mode, or to restart the device, reset it, and control its task operations. It is worth mentioning that, during manufacturing, we can also use ESP Now to perform an aging test, an interference test, a wireless connectivity test, a module flash read and write test, and a version verification test for any device before it is shipped. This way, we can easily detect hardware faults and remove any defective products promptly. Developers can also use command lines to debug their devices. ESP Now can be used for transferring large volumes of data, as is the case in firmware upgrades. When using ESP Now for firmware upgrades, the firmware is sub-packaged in fixed size arrays of bytes. The device will record the upgrading status of each firmware package and write it into the flash. If the upgrading process is interrupted, the device will request only the remaining firmware packages, thus resuming the upgrade from the breakpoint onward. With ESP Now, you can upgrade multiple devices at the same time in less than one minute. If an error occurs while running the updated firmware on your device, you can reset it to the previous firmware version with a single command and ensure a smooth running of the system. All in all, by using ESP Now you can achieve device control with such features as easy pairing, quick response, low power consumption, good compatibility, long distance communication and multi-layer control, device provisioning with no SSID and password, device debugging after fault detection and analysis. Firmware updates supporting resumption from the breakpoint onward, simultaneous upgrades of multiple devices and version reset. If you would like to learn more about ESP Now, Espressive's wireless communication solution, or if you have any questions about it, please contact our customer support team by clicking on the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.